and gentlemen, welcome back to more WWE 2K16 Universe mode. My name is Brendan Plays. We are here with this week's NXT just before the Night of Champions pay view, which will be going live on Brendan Plays June 11th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. UK Time, 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on Brendan Plays' Twitch and YouTube channel. This week on NXT, we have Apollo Crews going one-on-one -on -one with Eric Young. We are now on the road to finding our next number one contender for the NXT Championship. Some familiar faces again in Apollo Crews uh, in the hunt once again for another opportunity at the champion. Eric Young, uh, one of our newest NXT recruits, wants an opportunity as well. The Vaude Villains are in action against the Los Matadors who are coming down from Raw for an opportunity here at NXT just to get themselves a bit of confidence. Chad Gable, one of the tag team champions, goes one-on-one -on -one with Colin Cassidy. Baron Corbin goes one-on-one -on -one with Samoa Joe. Our other big match to determine, I guess, our next contender. Um, that'll be coming up in the next few weeks. And our main event is some women's action. Alexa Bliss will team up with Asuka to take on our women's champion, Bailey and Becky Lynch. The Los Matadors get a victory. That's a much needed victory for them. That'll boost their confidence heading back to Raw. And finally, our main event for the evening for our women's match, it's Asuka and Alexa Bliss picking up the win. Here we go again. It is Apollo Crews once again trying to battle his way to the top on the NXT mountain. Tonight he faces Eric Young in the singles action. We've already seen Apollo Crews have an opportunity at the NXT Championship at the NXT TakeOver Fatal 4-Way Special. But Apollo Crews isn't done yet. He's a fighting superstar. Despite the loss at TakeOver, he is not giving up yet. Over the course of the next few weeks here at NXT, we'll be assessing some of our top-tier talent, and we'll be having a number of different matches. And I guess it's a bit of an unofficial series with the winners, I suppose, going on to face each other so we can finally have a definitive NXT Championship number one contender to take on AJ Styles down the line. Apollo Crews would love to be that. Obviously, Fatal 4 is much different to one-on-one -on -one matchups, so Apollo Crews might feel a little bit more confident heading into a one-on-one -on -one environment with AJ Styles compared to the Fatal 4-Way situation. But tonight, he'll have to be taking on one of the newcomers here to NXT, Eric Young. So Cruz versus Eric Young. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. A big opportunity here for Eric Young. Obviously debuted at NXT TakeOver. Didn't have the debut he was hoping for. But how will he fare here tonight against one of the best we have here on NXT? Can Eric Young go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Apollo Crews? We will find out here tonight. But Eric Young, a lot to like about him. He's a bit of a veteran of the game. Been around for a long time. Very, very impressive in the ring. There's no doubting his abilities. And with that experience that he has, maybe the edge that he has here on Apollo Crews here tonight. Obviously, Crews has the athletic, I, I suppose, advantage. And uh, the power game as well will certainly be in his favor. So Eric Young will have to rely on his experience and try and be a little bit more crafty about his ways to come up with a victory here tonight. Obviously, the winner will have an opportunity down the line, like we said, against AJ Styles. Perhaps later on tonight, Samoa Joe goes one-on-one -on -one with Baron Corbin. And uh, we'll see how those two are faring as well. We've obviously seen uh, Samoa Joe involved with the, with the NXT Championship. I should say, and uh, Baron Corbin's been a guy who's getting some wins here and there and doing enough to keep his name in the title picture. So we'll see how he fares here tonight against Samoa Joe. And could it could actually indeed be, once again, a renewal of a, of a rivalry that's been going on for such a long time. Apollo Crews and Samoa Joe may even meet again if they can both win their matchups. Obviously, last week we saw Austin Aries go one on one with AJ Styles as well in an unsuccessful matchup for Austin Aries. So. We are really on the hunt for the next contender, and it may not be one of the newcomers. It may be the same old guys again, getting the wins and earning their way back for another opportunity at AJ Styles. And there'll be nothing wrong with that, in my opinion. I think if, for example, Apollo Crews gets back there in the title hunt, you know, well done to him, because he certainly has deserved it if he can do it. Take it off his feet there by Eric Young. I think there's no doubt about it. I think Apollo Crews is a future NXT champion. You know, if he does get brought up to the main roster at some point, he's a future champion up there as well. He's got all the talent, all the credentials, and all the ability. Look at the power and strength here of Cruz right now. Going for the third. Turns into a German suplex there on Eric Young. A lot to like about Apollo Cruz. A big, big future ahead of him. And the NXT Championship would be the perfect way 
to solidify himself as the future here in NXT. AJ Styles, a veteran of the game coming here to NXT and I think his veteran instincts have gotten the better of some of the other superstars here. And uh, obviously Samoa Joe, another veteran as well. But uh, Apollo Crews, many years left in the tank and perhaps experience has let him down a little bit in comparison. Some big victories here over the likes of Eric Young and perhaps even Samoa Joe and Baron Corbin might just help Apollo Crews get the confidence he needs and a bit more experience to get some of the big names here in NXT. That big match feeling to get him to the next level. For Eric Young, I think he just needs to establish himself here. Just needs a few wins to get himself going. And like we said, a bit of a disappointing debut at TakeOver. He didn't last as long as he would have liked in that Battle Royal. So this is his, this is really his chance here to bounce back. Cruz now turned around. Young will throw. No, thought he's going to throw Cruz over the top of the rope, but he turns it back, hits the chop, and Cruz is down. Young went for a right hand. Cruz making sure that didn't happen. And now from behind. No, Paul Cruz not able to capitalize. Eric Young with a shot from behind. Look out now. Cruz, another shot to the back of Eric Young. Both arms hooked, and there's a suplex. Bit of a modified German suplex there by Apollo Cruz, but it was very, very effective right there. And here we go with the cover. Look at the leg. And Eric Young kicking out. Staying in it is Eric Young, but Cruz looking very, very good, isn't he? Eric Young perhaps a little bit shocked here about how good Apollo Cruz is performing right now. Welcome to the big leagues, Eric Young. He's ready, but uh, I'm not sure if he's ready for someone like Apollo Cruz who's going for a big move right now. The hang time is there. Look at the power of Cruz, even doing a couple of squats as well. And finally connects with the suplex. Apollo Cruz is as impressive as it comes. The power is there. We might be about to see some of the agility and the high flying ability. Tried to fly over the top of the rope, but Eric Young scouting him out and able to get the hell out of there. And Apollo Cruz getting out of the ring. And now Cruz meets him there. And Cruz, uh oh, look at the power again by Cruz. My goodness. Slamming him down. Apollo Crews on fire right now. Well, the power of Crews is something you have to be impressed about. And Young, oh, rake of the eye there by Eric Young. That's what he's all about. And even grabbing, well, the lower region of Apollo Crews. Not afraid to try and cheat his way to victory. And the referee, obviously, he can't see anything that's more than two feet in front of him. So there's no way he was going to see what happened just there. Eric Young able to get away with it. And now Eric Young is in the corner. Cruz will be, if anything, a little bit more pissed off about what Eric Young did. And he might be looking for a bit of retribution here. Young's not going to give it to him, though. Here comes Eric Young. And the elbow off the top. Down goes Cruz. And Young can try and get himself going here. Cruz countering and sweeping Young off his feet. Follow Cruz looking the goods right now. There's no doubting him right now. Eric Young... Trying to get back to his feet. Apollo Cruz attempted a right hand and Young able to get out of the way. Snapman attack down now as well. Eric Young will just work him down with a side headlock. Try and wear his opponent down. We're going to take a quick break here on this episode of NXT. We'll be back right after this. The United Champions pay per view will be live on Brendan Plays on June 11th. Saturday afternoon at 2 p.m. or Saturday night if you're in the UK at 7 p.m. Don't miss the live stream. The video will be available once the stream has finished and you can watch it on the YouTube channel at any time you like. But the stream will be available to watch 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time live on Twitch and YouTube. Hope to see every single one of you there. It's going to be a great pay per view indeed. There will be a one hour pre show as well where we will be playing some SmackDown vs. Raw 2007. So don't miss the stream. Hope to see every single one of you there. We are back here on NXT. And Eric Young is in control right now. Let's take a quick look at what exactly happened during the break. It was Eric Young getting himself going here. And planning down a cruise and wearing down the legs of Cruz. Young using the ropes right there. And you can see he's busted open as well. Young using the ropes trying to beat Apollo Cruz. Trying to cheat his way to victory. Cruz able to kick out though. And now look out. Apollo Cruz has Eric Young up. Look out in the corner with a power bomb. Eric Young's down. And Apollo Cruz trying to take advantage here. Trying to capitalize on Eric Young's, Eric Young's mistake. 
Young trying everything he can do to try and cheat his way to victory. He is desperate for a win here, Eric Young. He knows if he can beat Cruz, it will skyrocket him here in NXT. Both men have been cut open. Both men are feeling the effects of this hard-fought matchup thus far. Cruz now outpowering Young, bringing him into the corner. Slowly but surely getting there himself. And Young able to take advantage of Apollo Cruz time-wasting there. And I think that's exactly what it was. Wasting too much time to get to Young. And now Eric Young off the top of the rope. What has he got planned? Looking for a superplex, perhaps. Eric Young on Apollo Cruz. Superplex. Is that going to be enough to put Cruz away? The future of NXT is in some trouble now. He'll kick out it to Eric Young. Cut open. Frustrated. Can't believe it. Is that going to get frustrating to the point where Eric Young cannot overcome it. He needs to try and shake it off. Apollo Cruz now has him in the corner. Right where he would want him. But Young with the elbow strike coming back now. And look out. Young has Cruz up. Pile driver. A pile driver by Eric Young. And this might just be it. Cruz has the ropes. The referee miraculously saw Apollo Crews grab the ropes and Eric Young cannot believe it. He hit the pile driver, something we don't see too often. He hit it to perfection and still couldn't get it done. Now he's going to go for it again. A second pile driver by Young. Surely now, surely now, that will be the end of Apollo Crews. There is no way he can kick out of this. Wow. Well... Forget about what I said. He has got the left shoulder up. And Eric Young looks like he's just seen a ghost. He is in disbelief. He cannot believe what just happened. Apollo Crews bounces back to his feet and is still going right now. Young had the match won, not once, but twice. First time Crews had the ropes. Second time he kicked out. Unbelievable here from Apollo Crews. Picking up Young, no countering. And Cruz, though, in trouble. Young, rake in the back. And Apollo Cruz, what can he do? Kick to the midsection. And now, look out. Picks up. Young and plants him down. With a power bomb, spinning him, now, spinning him around and gets him. Apollo Cruz sneaks away with a great victory there on Eric Young. Well, he picked up Young with a spinning power bomb and he got it. And extends his hand for a handshake, and Young wants absolutely nothing to do with it. Eric Young is frustrated with himself here, and not happy that he couldn't beat Apollo Crews here tonight. Well, maybe that's not the last we've seen of those two going after one another, but that's a big victory here for Apollo Crews here tonight. Is he in line for another opportunity at the NXT Championship? We'll find out in the coming weeks, but that certainly won't do his chances anyhow. The second match of our NXT episode here tonight. Baron Corbin versus Samoa Joe. Corbin? Well, what to say about him thus far? Yet to really show the consistency we are looking for here in NXT. He has the size, he has the power, he has the presence, he has the ability to be something great here in NXT. Big opportunity for him here tonight as he battles Samoa Joe, who has been just about everything that, that I think... Baron Corbin would like to be dominant. And uh, Baron Corbin has yet to show us how good he truly can be here on NXT. Where Samoa Joe, we've seen some moments of brilliance from him. But the consistency from Samoa Joe has let him down a little bit. Samoa Joe, I think his frustrations have gotten the better of him. If Baron Corbin can keep himself a bit of cool-headed here tonight, he might be able to take advantage of those frustrations to get the better of... Samoa Joe here tonight. Corbin versus Joe. Corbin looks pretty focused. There's no doubting what he can do in the ring. He's going to be very tough to beat here tonight for Samoa Joe. But this should be a great clash between two big men. Samoa Joe. He has been mighty impressive since arriving on the scene of NXT after the NXT arrival event. Made his presence known on that evening. Attacking Styles. 
and ever since he's been gunning for that NXT Championship, unable to get it at NXT Fatal 4-Way, but that won't stop him now. He is still coming after that title, and he wants it desperately. But uh, there is a number of superstars in his way right now. Apollo Crews is one. Those two have a lot of history already. Maybe we'll see those two lock horns once again. But uh, right now, Baron Corbin is Samoa Joe's main concern. He has to beat Corbin here tonight to uh, better his chances at an NXT Championship opportunity down the line. We're underway right now as Baron Corbin has a hold of Joe, picks him up and slams him down with a suplex there to kick this one off. That back suplex there and now Baron Corbin stomping away there on Samoa Joe. Corbin has Joe up and they'll lock up now. So for Baron Corbin, this is his biggest opportunity thus far, I think, to really show us what he can do. I mean, we've seen Corbin in a few spurts and it hasn't really been all that great. He was... A Pretty lackluster in the Battle Royal at NXT TakeOver as well. Not what we wanted to see from Baron Corbin at all. We want to see Corbin dominating. We want to see Corbin throwing men around like that and and uh, showing how good he truly is. We've, like we said, we've seen small bursts of, of goodness, but we just want to see him do a little bit better and get a bit more consistency to him. And I think he's yet to really beat a number of top-tier names here. He needs to beat a few more big names here in NXT. And then I think if he can do that, he'll get himself going. But Samoa Joe is as big as a name as you'll get here in NXT. And Baron Corbin knows that. He's coming after one of the toughest there is here on the brand. And uh, Corbin will have to be very, very good to beat Joe here tonight. With a shot to the back there by Samoa Joe. Now, has Corbin. Into the corner he goes. Picks him up. Slams him down with a German suplex. Samoa Joe just going about his work right now. Probably just imagining this is AJ Styles right now. And AJ Styles has to be quite concerned. There's a lot of great contenders gunning for that title. Somehow he managed to survive at Fatal 4-Way. And I know his next title defense won't be a Fatal 4-Way. We can guarantee you that. Maybe it's a triple threat. I mean, we love triple threat matches lately. Maybe we'll do another one of those. But right now, AJ Styles will have to try and focus on the best there is right now here in NXT. The problem is we don't know who that is. Styles may not know for a number of weeks and he might not be able to really prepare himself for one specific superstar until it may be too late. I mean, we might not find out who the next number one contender is. Maybe we'll find out maybe a week before the title match will take place. So Styles has to be very, very prepared for anyone. Already managed to defeat Austin Aries. So you could probably tick his name off the list. I mean, unless he gets a bit more momentum going and somehow claws his way back into the situation. Maybe he will. Maybe he'll get another opportunity. I think Austin Aries just would probably wasn't ready for Styles yet, but the experience certainly will help him in a future date. And Samoa Joe, he's first him before. He's beaten Samoa Joe before. He's beaten Apollo Crews before. So he'll be confident against those two. Maybe Baron Corbin, with the size advantage that he has, might be a bit of a worry to AJ Styles. So that's why Corbin has to try and get through this match here tonight. If he can do it, well, look out. AJ Styles will be certainly worried that Corbin might just be the next NXT champion right now. As the submission hold on, and Corbin's trying to get his way to the ropes. Won't matter because Joe will release the hold. And Joe now has a hold of Baron Corbin. Will pick him up and look out again with a suplex. A bit of a side suplex there. And now look out. Corbin back to his feet. Shoulder block takedown. So Corbin back and forth here right now against Samoa Joe. But he hasn't been able to get a bit of a roll on here. Neither man has. And that might be... The difference maker is for the time being. Grabs the hole of the leg. And exploding. Baron Corbin right into the corner of the ring. And now, oh, right hand there by Corbin. Samoa Joe not afraid to toss Corbin around. Neither is Corbin afraid to toss Samoa Joe around. It's kind of a battle of who wants to throw each other around the ring the most. And they kind of are going back and forth between that situation right now. Corbin, though, looks as though he feels as though he might just have Samoa Joe beat right now. He'll kick out of the counter, too. And this match will continue on. Hasn't quite got him yet, though. A shot there by Joe and Corbin. With Corbin countering back. A snapmare again. And the submission hold still locked in right now. Samoa Joe trying to get back to his feet. He's up and oh, Corbin bouncing off Joe. Samoa Joe now back up 
Turns Corbin around. Turns him again, around again. Trying to spin him around a little bit. Kind of get him a bit dizzy, perhaps. And there's a Samoan drop. And that's what you want to see from Samoa Joe. Looking the goods right now. Perhaps he has enough to beat Corbin right now. Who kick out just barely. The count of two and a half. Joe getting closer and closer here. The confidence will grow here after that maneuver. And just takes Corbin off of his feet again. The pressure has been sustained and continues to grow here. As Joe now has the leg wrapped around trying to make Baron Corbin think about tapping out. Can Corbin hang on? He will. And Joe tried to go for a right hand. Corbin fighting back with one of his own. And now look out. Here we go. And playing it down again. Samoa Joe finding that, finding out what Baron Corbin is all about right now. Finding out that Corbin can hang with some of the top dogs here in NXT. He's doing very well here against Samoa Joe right now. Perhaps we might even see an upset win here tonight by Corbin. Throwing Joe over the top of the rope. Joe to the outside. A harsh landing there. And that won't do himself any favors here in this matchup. But Joe not too phase. And he'll take down Corbin off of his feet. And into the ringside barricade as well. A couple of right hands there by Joe. And all of a sudden, Joe has bounced back. And he's got himself going here right now against Baron Corbin. Corbin trying just to get his hands up there to stop these right hands from Joe. Not doing a great job of it. A number of them right in the button. That time when he went for the chop. Able to counter. And a belly to belly suplex on the outside of the ring. And that is gonna hurt. Joe again now. Into the ringside barricade himself. Bit of payback here for Corbin. Bouncing off the ringside barricade as well. Is Samoa Joe head first. Corbin though. Jeez, he's looking good, isn't he? Samoa Joe. A little bit stunned maybe. A little bit surprised about Baron Corbin. How well he's doing. Joe though, hits back in the ring. Corbin, though, will be now planted, planted in the corner. And Joe... Uh-oh, has Corbin up. He's got Corbin up. This is not ever good to see that. If you've got Samoa Joe coming up to you in a clothesline. A diving clothesline of the top rope. Connecting. And now Corbin might be looking for the end of days. Here we go. He's got him. End of days. Corbin's got it. Baron Corbin to beat Samoa Joe here at NXT. He'll kick out. Wow. Samoa Joe dug deep, found a way to kick out. And Samoa Joe stays in it. Baron Corbin thought he had him beat. He can't believe it right now. But if you want to beat someone like Samoa Joe, you have to step into the next gear. That's what Joe has done. He's dug deep and continued to fight and continued to keep on going. Can Baron Corbin pick himself up here and continue to keep this pressure going here on Samoa Joe? He's in the corner now. And oh, tempted right hand there by Corbin. Now Joe, look out. Has Corbin up on the shoulders, plants him down. And Joe though, you can see just can't quite take advantage. Just a little bit slow getting to his feet. Is that going to affect him here? I don't, I don't really think so. In the corner now. Samoa Joe. Maybe, maybe he's thinking about the muscle buster. And again, the exploder suplex. Both men are spent right now. And they're both down. Who will get back to their feet first? Samoa Joe, the first one. He's stirring, he's crawling, and back onto one knee, and up he goes. Corbin's trying to do the same. Joe will meet him before he can get to his feet. And Joe with a DDT. Taking advantage of the, uh, I guess the size differential there when Corbin was on one knee. Basically the same height as Joe nearly. That's how big Baron Corbin is, able to hit the DDT there on him. And why not? You have the opportunity, let's do it. Samoa Joe countering from behind, a shot there on Corbin. Corbin will be feeling as though, oh, German suplex, hang on, hold that thought. Both shoulders are down, look out. No, he'll kick out. I was going to say, Corbin was feeling as though he had this match won, and now it's slowly si slipping away from him. Samoa Joe is fighting his way back in it, and he's slowly gaining momentum. The belly onto the side with a suplex by Samoa Joe, and Corbin is just can't quite, just can't quite sustain the pressure on Joe. I mean, he's been good. But Joe is just one step ahead right now. And one step right into the face 
of Baron Corbin there by Samoa Joe. And here we go. This could be about to be the end. You talk about the end of days. This might be the end of Baron Corbin. The German into the full Nelson. Followed up by another German. Both shoulders are down now for Baron Corbin. The pressure is on. Can he kick out? This time he can. Well, there you go. Baron Corbin can hang, folks. He is good. He is good. But unfortunately for him, Samoa Joe is just getting the better of him. Corbin's in the corner. Joe turns him around. And here's trouble. Here's big trouble. Here we go. Muscle Buster. Samoa Joe has got Corbin beaten you with a shoom. A hard fought victory for Joe. Yes, he got him. He had to work hard for that one. Baron Corbin put up a hell of a fight. But Joe picks up a win and familiar faces do it again. Joe and Cruz both winning their matches here tonight. Will we see these two lock horns again next week or in the coming weeks after? To determine the next number one contender for this NXT Championship. Of a few guys, perhaps known as Hideo Itami and Austin Aries, for example, who might want their own little say on that situation. But we'll certainly find out very soon what is going on with who will be the next contender. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much again for joining us for another episode of Universe Mode. If you did enjoy it, please hit the like button for me. Let's try and shoot for 15 likes. It's a big, big goal, but I'm pretty confident you guys can do it for me. Let me know in the comment section down below if you are excited to see Night of Champions. I am certainly excited to bring you guys it, and I hope you guys will be there for the live stream. Let me know if you're going to be there as well, and I'm certainly looking forward to seeing you all there and talking to you guys when the stream is on. It, of course, will be at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, June 11th, Saturday afternoon. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the Night of Champions coming up soon, and I'll see you all next video.